If you've never met Lynn Wyatt, she may be what you imagine the great Texas grand dame to be in the best possible way. Lynn is generous, funny, incredibly outgoing, a performer, but also introverted and thoughtful. I think it's easy to focus on Lynn Wyatt's own beauty and Lynn's, you know, extraordinary clothing. And I mean, that you know, that every designer of the last half century has wanted to design for her and she makes everyone's clothes look extraordinary. And that that's great. But what's important to Lynn is helping people. She is, of all people, of all walks of life, I think it was just instinctive to me because of my parents. I was fortunate to have a wonderful upbringing. We were taught to give back, so it was just natural to me. I don't do it for anybody to praise me or anything. It just makes me feel good to give back to my city of Houston and Texas. I think giving of myself is one thing but I always want to know what is the feeling that I can inspire. And I think that the arts are the soul of any city, so I'm heavily involved in the arts. But on the other end of the spectrum, I support the homeless, the Star of Hope mission for the homeless. And it was accidental that I became involved with them. I said, well, before I put my name on something, I want to come out and see your facilities. They said, you do? And I said, well, yes. And I remember that I was so impressed that I said, what do you need? I want to help you. And they said, well, Mrs. Wyatt, it's coming up on Thanksgiving. We don't have any turkeys. And I said, well, how many turkeys do you need? We need about 30 turkeys. I said, well, I'll give you 60 turkeys for Christmas and for Thanksgiving. And that's how I got involved. And I've been with them for 40 something years. I go out every year. They invite me to come to the Star of Hope Mission for the Homeless. It's so comforting for me to support them. One of the things Lynn says a lot is that the arts are the soul of the city. And it's easy to say that, but Lynn really, really believes that. She listens, she pays attention, and she gets it. She's more than just a philanthropist. She is an artistic citizen of this city. And so for Houston Grand Opera, I mean, it's unthinkable that we would be the company we are today without Lynn. You know, I've been told, quote, Lynn talks the talk and walks the walk. I'm so proud of that quote. Lynn has been the greatest ambassador for Houston all around the world for generations. Lynn has lived her whole life here. It means an enormous amount to her to remember the Houston she grew up in, and to see the extraordinary distance that Houston has traveled culturally, and to know how much of an effect she had on that herself. I think in her quieter moments, that must just give her extraordinary joy. I think Texas girls can do anything they put their mind to, and they do it well. Live life to the fullest, and be thankful for all the gifts that you have been given. I believe that.